Good afternoon, I'm David Matta. And I'm Anissa Hetherington, and here are your news headlines. A city worker has died after an accident in Vancouver's Connaught Park. The worker was in a boom-mounted bucket elevated off the ground when a tree limb fell and pinned the worker inside. WorkSafe BC crews are on scene and investigating. A former UBC student has filed a human rights complaint alleging that the school put students in danger when it dragged its heels on multiple sexual assault complaints against the PhD candidate. Glynis Kirkmeyer says she wants the university's new sexual assault policy to ensure that victims of sexual violence are not re-traumatized. A BC man with almost 90 convictions, including seven for arson, has been jailed indefinitely after being declared a dangerous offender. Provincial Court Judge Carmen Rogers says the indefinite sentence is needed to protect the public from Daniel Sutherland, who has been described by a path psychologist as a pathological fire setter. A new road safety report from BC's medical health officer suggests cutting the speed limits in urban areas to 30 kilometers to reduce pedestrian and cyclist deaths. But BC Transportation Minister Todd Stone says that idea isn't under consideration. He says the decision would have to be made by individual cities. The Ministry of Transportation says winter tire rules are lifted today, meaning vehicles no longer require good condition winter tires if they're traveling through mountain passes. The Ministry stresses, though, the motorist should always be prepared for snow or other nasty conditions at higher elevations. And now a look at the weather. It's 13 degrees outside our Burnaby campus studios, and, I'll stay, and it'll stay clear for the evening and into tomorrow morning. Those are your news headlines. I'm David Matta. And I'm Anissa Hetherington. Thanks for watching.